So some big news ahead of the grass court season and preparations for Wimbledon, of course. Iga Sviantek, she will not be playing in Berlin, which is, I guess, unofficially the biggest event going into Wimbledon. She decided not to play that event and go to Wimbledon, I guess, with no warm-ups. So that's going to be interesting to see how she does. Let's go see what she had to say over on Twitter. This is coming from the Twitter account from Berlin. This is what Sviantek had to say. Due to overall physical and mental fatigue after an intense nine weeks, unfortunately, I do need to withdraw from the tournament in Berlin in order to rest and recover. And they also added on, we will miss you, Iga. See you in the future. There it is. Iga Sviantek not playing at Berlin, which is one of the biggest tournaments of the grass court season. Of course, the Olympics is just around the corner. It's only a couple of weeks after Wimbledon. And of course, she just won the French Open. And at Roland Garros is where they're going to be playing the tennis in Paris for the Olympics. And Sviantek's going to be the favorite, of course. Knowing that she can win a gold medal makes sense that she might not focus that much on preparation for Wimbledon and have more rest and recovery so that she can maybe win that gold medal. You know, Wimbledon's going to be there next year. The gold medal on clay, she may never get to play on a clay court Olympics ever again because we've only had, I think, one in the last 30 years and the Olympics only happens every four years. So it's very unlikely she'll get this chance again. Good to see her focusing on that, but let me know down in the comments below. Do you think Sviantek will do well at Wimbledon despite no preparations ahead of that? Of course, that event's going to be stacked. It's going to have players like Sabalenka, Rabakina, Goff, all playing in that event, so it's still a stacked event, but world number one won't be playing in Berlin, focusing more on recovery and rest ahead of Wimbledon.